Philosopher's Stone on the PS1 by EA Games. It has some secrets, a lot of detail, and a whole load of fun. So let's take a look what this game holds. Before we even start the game, our first little secret is on the main menu. By pressing the triangle button, get the lightning to strike whenever we want. This next one is not so much a secret, but just a small detail. If you go up to some of the banisters in the game and climb on top, you can slide down them. It's the only game that I've ever come across that has had that function. This next detail comes in the flying lesson. If you fly too close to Madame Hooch, she'll react. But you can never knock her over. One of my favourite bits of details in this game is when you finally get to the Diagon Alley, which should be in that start of the game and not near the end. You have to find a gate to Nocturne Alley, which is just next door to Green Gots Bank. But you can never go through because there's an old lady just blocking the way in front of you if you, go, if you try and get down there. To be involved, would ya? Now run along. Maybe I'll turn you into a turnip and then eat ya for my tea. <laughs> As we work through the story, after Diagon Alley and after the forest. I've noticed that when Hermione tells us that she's gathered information about Nicholas Flamel, she says his name wrong. That Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned, he's the creator of the Philosopher's Stone. I even double checked on the PS2 version, which Everyone else seems to get the name correct. Tagrid mentioned Nicholas Flamel. I've been trying to find out who he is. I've been wondering for a while if information about Flamel isn't somewhere in the restricted section of the library. Plus, I even checked to make sure that, just in case, maybe this is just my copy of the game. It's actually in an online walkthrough. An update to this part when I was edited in this video, I noticed Hagrid also says his name wrong. So technically, it's not just a mind that I want, it's the whole game. You forget that dog and what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind, I'm off. You better get Remembers the days of cheat codes where you can get characters to have big heads, spawn a car wherever you want, or even just change how your character looks. This game's got some cheat codes. They've got the standard one of the health, and they've got, like, get all wizard cards, but there's one in particular that I want to speak of, and that's blurry mode. You've been through this game, and want to challenge yourself, why not just make it more blurry? To do this, on the main menu, if you hold down L1, R1, then press up, down, up, down, circle, circle, up, down, you'll get just that. You want to challenge yourself just a little bit, then you can give that one, uh, then you can give blurry mode a go. One thing I couldn't help noticing this is Harry Potter doesn't say any words. The only time he actually ever says anything is when he's casting a spell. But if he's but if someone's talking to him, if Ron's talking to him, if Draco starts in a fight, or encounters Quirrell at the end, or ever any time he talks to Harry uh, Hagrid, he never says anything. He just stares at them. Like he's planning to take their souls. You damaged my broomstick, Potter! While I was playing this, I noticed a couple of bit 
and that look kind of a bit creepy. The first is one of the paintings. When you've collected all the when you've collected all the green beans and got the password for the portrait, when you go up to it, it says something quite sinister. Wanglewort. Well done, young man. You've got the password. At least in here you'll be safe. But that's not even the scariest. The scariest would have to be... The scariest would have to be in the final battle. And over the stone. You will heal to me, Potter. Very well. I promise you'll die begging for mercy as your parents did. see how it appears in the game. At number three, the drop chase. At number two, Green Gun's bike. to the channel and click the bell icon to keep updated for any new videos.